Hey guys, just wanted to make a little video on uh, Joker here. The newest snake I just got in. Very, very, very important for a lot of the future projects right here, guys. So this is from um, Phil at Cream City Reptiles. This is the second snake I've gotten from him. And can definitely say that um, his snakes are pretty high quality. For sure. Um, he doesn't breed a lot or sell a lot. But what he does sell is always super, super, super nice. Another uh, other snake I got from him was a female pastel leopard 100% het clown. So you'll definitely be seeing him get paired to her in the future. So what this is, is uh, if you guys can't already tell, you know, obviously one of the nicest ones I've ever seen. But this is an orange dream clown right here. Uh, super, super sweet. So I have a bunch of females to put him with. You know, I have my most important one is my black pastel 100% hat clown. Um... I'll be making Black Nightmare Clowns with that pairing and also Orange Dream Leopard Clowns with the other snake I got from Cream City. Plus, I have a Pastel 100% Het Clown, 100% Het Exanthic. So, I could eventually get an Exanthic Orange Dream Clown, which would be insane. Um, most importantly, I'm going, I, cause one pairing I have is I have a male, a hundred percent or a male pastel, a hundred percent hat clown, a hundred percent hat VPI Xanthic. And then I have his twin sister, same thing, pastel, hundred percent hat clown, hundred percent hat VPI Xanthic. So with that pairing, I should be able to get a, at least an Xanthic clown, and then I'll also pretty certainly have a Black Nightmare Clown. So if I have the opposite sex for those in the future, that would be really amazing to eventually get Exanthic Black Nightmare Clowns. That would absolutely be a world's first. I know that. No one's made that. Um, it'd look pretty wild in my opinion. I, I, I hope. But um, super stoked on him, you guys. Uh, amazing head on him. Obviously, super nice clown. He's, you know, already pretty big, if you can see. He's super tense when I brought him out. You can tell he's kind of not used to being handled. But right now, I got him in that tub up there. Uh, it's an FB80 tub. So funny story really quick. Um, I joined this Facebook ball python group just because I figured oh I can give this thing some good content and there's a lot of new keepers on there and I figured I could help some people out you know because I care about ball pythons and snakes in general just good to let people know how to take good care of them and I've invested a lot of money in the mines so I definitely know exactly what they like so you know I got kicked out of the group today for the stupidest reason so somebody uh, had a male snake probably twice the size of this snake here. Twice the size of Joker here. And the dude had them in a tub about half the size maybe of one of those FB40 tubs. Like the snake couldn't even close to stretch all the way out if it even wanted to. And he's like, oh, does this enclosure too small for my snake and I commented on there I was like yeah man you know ball pythons they like low ceilings it makes them feel secure they also like fairly narrow spaces but I said you want to at least make it pretty long so that they can you want their enclosure to be about as long as they are if not a little bit more or a little less give or take but anyways, they should be able to stretch all the way out. And that was my point. I said, you know, if, if you are not letting your snakes stretch out, then, you know, it's not 
good for the snake's spine. That's pretty much scientifically proven. So anyways, the admin for this page that has thousands and thousands of of members and or, or whatever comments and say, oh, that's wrong. Stop. Stop sending misinformation. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you kidding me? I'm pretty sure I keep my snakes in freedom breeder tubs. Um, which are like designed specifically almost for ball pythons. Well, the ones I have anyway. Like, yeah, I've talked before about, you know, I keep some of my smaller snakes in a little bit bigger tubs. But it's like proven, like, yeah, your snake needs to be able to move around a little bit. Yeah, ball pythons, they like to feel secure, but it's proven too that they move around. I mean, anybody that has one will tell you that. So it's, it's just not cool to keep a snake in a that cramped of a space. Like all I was saying was like, yeah, the width of that's good. The low ceiling for that plastic container you got, that's pretty decent too. But it doesn't have any length. Another thing, when you don't have, when you don't have a long enough tub and you have too big of a snake in the tub, they're not getting the proper heat gradient. You know, they, they can't really get to a cool side or a hot side because their whole body is always on both sides. So it was just, it's just funny, like this woman, some old lady on here, some like 40 year old lady, I've been keeping longer than you've been alive. Yeah, well you're arguing with like advice directly from like Freedom Breeder, you know, Justin Kabilka, he keeps all of his snakes in Freedom Breeder shit, ARS shit, and they make their tubs, low ceilings, pretty narrow, but long, all of them, for a reason. So, you know, I just, I don't get why, what her point was. But yeah, just wanted you guys to check him out. Wild, wicked. He's very, a little standoffish, but we'll work on that, won't we, buddy? All right, you guys, you know, maybe comment, tell me what you think. Um, it's just ridiculous, this, this group. They, like, advocate keeping your ball pythons in these tanks with higher ceilings, and then you gotta black out the tanks, you gotta foil the top, you gotta have ceramic heat emitters, you have to have all this crap that's so inefficient, like, just build your freaking snake an enclosure that a tub, a nice tub that keeps humidity good, keeps temperature good, that can slide right into, just like this, just like this. And it's not hard, and it plus, you know, less room. And, you know, if you get a snake that you want to show off, get like a boa or something. Don't get a ball python. Ball pythons don't want to be shown off. They want to do their own thing and hide. But don't get two small enclosures as well. It's bullshit. Like, I only use really FP40 tubs and FP80 tubs. For hatchlings, I'll use, you know, I'm going to get an ARS rack. And I'm going to use those, but... Yeah, just wanted to give you an update. My newest snake, super stoked. Stay tuned for Black Nightmare Class.